What's up, Undertoads? This is Derek from Classic Game Room, and today, this is great, we're examining all the diverse flora and fauna that have made Mario so super over the years. It's like a, it's like a freaking video game botany lesson. Grab a petri dish and put on your lab coats, Undertoads. It's the top 10 Super Mario power-ups of all freaking time. We begin our in-depth analysis of Mario's wardrobe with one of the many power-ups exclusive to the 1990 masterwork, Super Mario Bros. 3. The question is, which box do we choose? Which contents will help me along my way? Oh, oh sweet fancy Moses, it's the legendary frog suit! The frog suit was a unique addition to Mario's arsenal. Although it makes him swim like he's on the Italian Olympic team, it was also one of his first power-ups to have a drawback as well. It makes walking on land a little bit... Oh, oh holy funky frog shit. Until Super Mario Galaxy revived the concept, power-ups kind of became a lost art in Mario's 3D games. But even so, you can't blame that on Super Mario 64. The Nintendo 64 launch title introduced plenty of new items, none more useful than the wing cap. <laughs> like some of his prior power-ups, the wing cap allows Mario to fly after he gathers a head of steam, or in this case, a triple jump. Mario has to gain momentum to fly higher as well, kind of like a 3D version of Super Mario World's cape feather, only with more temporary effects. Sometimes a power-up can actually define a Super Mario game. It's what you think when you think that game. And when you think Super Mario Land 2, you gotta think Bunny Mario. The first portable power-up on our feature, the carrot, is a tremendously useful item that allows Mario to hover across wide distances. Obviously a big help for a game packed with such perilous platforming. And fun fact, the carrot also held the title of most adorable Mario power-up until it was, uh, stung by number seven. Listen, when I saw Mario transform into B-Mario for the first time, it was at that moment I realized the $250 I used to purchase my Wii were monies well spent. You wanna know what makes me tick? The smile that just overcomes my face when Mario turns into a bee tells you all you need to know. It's the bee mushroom, and this thing, man, this, this is freaking adorable. So the bee mushroom lets Mario hover for a very limited amount of time, uh, which helps with measuring your jumps and reaching high platforms. And it also lets Mario climb on honeycomb, which is just, I mean, I mean, look at this. This is this is an unbelievable power up. Just beware the water under toads because water melts B Mario like like Dorothy melted Elphaba. Oh, what a world! <laughs> Introduced in New Super Mario Brothers Wii, the propeller mushroom deserves to be in Mario's upper echelon of power ups for a few reasons, but most importantly. This thing is weaved into the very fabric of its game's design. It's not one of those power-ups that only appears in one level and is barely useful. This thing is useful throughout the entire game, and some levels can actually be ruthless without this fall-saving, propeller-spinning shroom. And speaking of which, part one is about to spin away itself, so be sure to come back for part two of our analytical feature on the top 10 Super Mario power-ups of all time. <laughs>